Hello everyone, Plan Assassin here. I recently posted a video on the Kentucky coffee tree, a video on the black locust, and a video on the honey locust. Now, online there's seems to be some confusion or people are worried about confusing these three species when they find them out in the wild and are collecting seeds. So, last night I went out and found the seed pods and the seeds of each of these three species and I wanted to do a video so you could see how different they look. And once you see them in comparison to each other, you'll realize that there's probably not, of, uh, not a lot of ways that you could conf confuse the species. Now that being said, <clears throat> with the locust, the, like the black locust, there are several other native locusts to America. And uh, so what do we have? We have the clammy locust, the New Mexico locust, and the bristly locust. Now none of those are native to my area, and I have not found um, any specimens of those plants that people have planted, in, either in landscaping or to use um, as a agricultural plant. However, based off the information I've read, um, you're not likely to confuse any of them with a black locust because the seed pods are very uh, bristly. Now with the honey locust, there's another native species that's called the water locust. And I have never seen one of those. It is native um, back east. However, from the pictures I found online, they seem to have large, um, like silver dollar sized uh, pods that don't get very long. With the um, Kentucky coffee tree, there's not really, there, there's no other native plants in the family, um, in, the, in the genus, so there's you know, not a lot that you're going to confuse it with once you're able to identify it that's native. So, <clears throat> now that being said, there are um, hybrids that can occur, and there are also non native um, locust trees that can be planted. So, you got to work with what you got. I've only got these three, so uh, at least hopefully you can uh, start uh, from this video to uh, be able to identify them. Uh, for example, in the southern areas um, where it's a bit warmer, you can come across carob trees, which is uh, famous for its uh, ca or chocolate substitute. I was gonna say coffee substitute, that's not right. But chocolate substitute. Um, they're, they need a bit warmer climate so they're probably not going to grow here, but, you know, sounds like a bad idea, so I'll probably try it. Um, but you could potentially confuse a carob tree with, uh, say, a honey locust. So it's something to keep in mind. Okay, first up we have the black locust. And these are the green pods that form. And then as they mature, they turn black and eventually they dry up and become completely blackish brown. You can see that they have no um, fiber or fuzzies on them. So this is the pods from the black locust. Now the honey locust has a much longer pod on it. This is about average size. And they start out green and they'll turn black. And you can see the seeds in here. And when you do a comparison, you know, on the internet, you don't always have a lot of perspective when you're looking at the different pictures, but this is 
about the average size for a black locust bean. And here's the average size for a honey locust. There's not a lot of chance you're going to get these two confused. Now the Kentucky coffee tree has pods on it that are a lot wider and more bulky than say the honey locust. So if you look at the honey locust, even though these both have large pods on them, it's a much different structure. The honey locust is thinner and it's longer and it's not as wide as the Kentucky coffee tree pod. So it's very wide. It's more it has more of a stubby look to it. And it's somewhat bulky. It's much more substantial. So like the honey locust and the black locust, these will go turn black or brown as they mature. So here's a example of one that was beginning to turn um, black in color. So then here's a another, there's a several of them out on the ground, so I just picked them up for comparison. So those are the pods. Black locust, honey locust, Kentucky coffee tree. Now the seeds are even easier to tell apart because these large seeds we have here, this is Kentucky coffee tree seeds. These smaller but still substantial ones. These are the honey locust seeds. And these very small seeds here. These are the black locust seeds. Let me see if I can bring the camera in for a better angle. You can see the black locust seeds are very small. And the honey locust seeds, they're about the size of a small, uh, say like kidney bean. But then the Kentucky coffee tree uh, seeds, they are much larger. So, you're unlikely to confuse these, especially if you have a uh, another plant that you can make a comparison with. So if you know something is a, a black locust and you have something that has seeds on it that are this big, it's like, well, you're not really going to get those two confused. So that's a comparison of the seeds and the seed pods for the black locust, the honey locust, and the Kentucky coffee tree. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.